Hey there guys and girls, it's That British Gamer and today is just a little chatty update, shitty video really I guess. Uh, I couldn't even bother to plug in the external drive of my channel art on so I just used this thing that I used to record a thing that me and Rich recorded when I was drunk with him. Which I will upload, although the audio quality isn't the best because we're both drunk and recording off my internal laptop microphone which is obviously going to be the best quality ever um yeah so like the update video i did a stream the other day it was quite fun i enjoyed it i wish i could do it longer uh, i can't do it at my house obviously yeah, it would be really shit but yeah i just wanted to like i i, I was said i was busy and i didn't really say what i've been doing um like the the two things that have taken up apart from work i did say that which has taken up a lot of my time but the thing that has taken up a lot of my time, the rest of, you know, a lot of my spare time. Well, I've, it's, it's free computers, basically. Um, I built my, my nephew a computer for Christmas. I did mention that. I built him that for Christmas. Um, well, I didn't really build it. I bought um, a Dell Optiplex thingamabob as the base and then just upgraded it from there. Although I do have to get him a stronger graphics card because we found that the one that I got him won't play GameCube games, which is unfortunate. Um, but, you know, what can you do? Just upgrade the graphics card, innit? it? And it's sorted. Uh, it's got, it's got like, the processor and, and the RAM for it. it just uh, The graphics card just doesn't have the grunt in it to, to run the games effectively. Um, it can run them at 30 frames a second, but... I tried fiddling with the settings and I couldn't get it any better than that. In fact, it went worse when I tried to make it better. So, uh, yeah. But that, that's one computer. The the other computer um, is not quite done. You well, neither neither of the two that I have here that for me are done. Uh, basically, I have uh, what they call a retro PC. Um, it's um, a Patriot PC from like 1998. It's, uh, it's, oh, what's it? It's got Cyrix M2300 in there. Um, I've been upgrading it. When I got it, it had like 32 megs of RAM, it had no, um, GPU, it had no, um, sound card, it had no networking, had none of that shit. It was just like a 300 megahertz processor, 32 megs of RAM, a 32 gig hard drive, and, and that was it and everything else was built on the board did have usb however which was really good like really shocking for a computer from 1998 but two usb ports which made everything so much easier um i bought a compact flash solution drive for it and ended up not actually fucking needing the thing um which isn't a bad thing because if i get another computer in the future it can always be used for that but anyway this thing has been upgraded i'm still waiting i bought because obviously it's an old computer, I wasn't too sure, like, in regards to upgrades, like what I could do with it. Um, it took a bit of research and it takes something called EDO RAM, you know, SIM modules. Um, so I got myself, at the moment it's got 96 megabytes of RAM, which might seem like a random number, but it's got two 16 gig, uh, megabyte sticks, sorry, and two 32 meg sticks in there. Um, I've got another two 32 meg sticks coming, so I'll have a mighty 128 megabytes of RAM. Although, the graphics card it's got in there now, I, it's this cheap as shit Chinese thing. Um, it was like a tenner. It's, uh, it's called a, a NVIDIA GeForce FX 5500. Um, for what I want it for in that computer, absolutely perfect it does 1080p for fuck's sake uh so i'm running you know windows 98 second edition in 1080p uh but it's got it's like even when i upgrade the ram to 128 megs the graphics card will still have double the amount of memory that my system actually has which is a bit stupid but to buy like a standard graphics card that was like normal for that time that was like i don't know 12 meg or something it would have cost me 30, 40 quid, and I thought, well, fuck it. I can get that, and, and it will work fine. Uh, I haven't started putting games and shit on it, because I've only, like, in the last couple of days, like, the graphics card's come. I still can't... I bought an external sound card, and I can't get the fucking thing to work. 
I just can't get it to work. I don't know what it is. I don't know if it's faulty. I don't know if it's just not compatible. I just don't know. But um, yeah, I can't get it to work. So I, I'm having to depend on in, onboard sound, which is sort of working at the moment. Um, when I disabled it and re because I put the sound, tried to get the sound card to work, um, and then tried to play Tyrion on it. Uh, Tyrion sound wouldn't work at all, and uh, but Windows sound does. I, it's a fucking heaping mess at the moment. Um, but you know we'll get there in the end. So that's one computer. That's my retro computer, which I saw. I bought that. What was it? Sixty quid for the actual base unit, which seems ridiculous when you think about it. But. I've wanted to play older games for a long time, things like uh, Warcraft 1, Warcraft 2, and, um, you know, those sorts of older games. And the, the problem is, like, people will say, well, won't you use DOSBox? DOSBox is alright, but you're emulating, and it, I couldn't get it to work properly, or run the way that I remembered. I have an old PC sat there now, that will do it. Like, it's got a DVD rewriter drive on there that I got for nothing. I went to a shop in town. After buying two fucking drives off eBay, which neither of which worked, the drive that came with it died shortly after I, it arrived. I go into town, and I ask in a computer shop. I know this is a weird request, because everything's moving so quickly in, in computer circles. But... Do you have an ID CD-ROM drive? And they looked at me, and the old guy... It was an old guy and a young guy, and the, the young guy was like, what the hell was that? And the old guy just looks at the young guy as much to say, you know nothing, child. You know, it was so funny. And he looked at me, and he goes, I know what you're talking about, he says. So why do you want an ID drive, just out of interest? And I go, oh, I bought an old computer um, for retro gaming purposes. My CD-ROM drives died. I bought two off eBay, I'm getting pissed off with them not working off eBay, I just wanted to know if you had one. And he was like, I'll go and have a look out back. He says, it's not stock we obviously carry now, but I'll have a look for you. And he went off, and he was gone for 10 minutes, and I thought he'd forgotten about me, and was just like hoping I'd go away or something. But anyway, turns up 10 minutes later with his fucking DVD, ROM, uh, DVD rewriter drive in his hand, and he hands it to me. I'm like, oh, how much is that then, mate? He goes, oh... We can't guarantee it will work. We can't offer you anything, you know, any sort of guarantee or anything. So you, you can have it. It's just sat out there out the back doing nothing. So you can have it. I'm like, oh my God, you know, that's really generous. It was Christmas Eve, I think. And you know what? That fucking DVD rewriter drive worked. Perfectly. Stuck it in, worked straight away. Unbelievable. So... I've got my retro computer nearly perfect, nearly perfect. I had to download a lot of software for it. I and, and ironically enough, I wish I'd filmed this. But this is an example of my hoarding going right. Years ago, when I lived with my stepdad, he had a computer network. He was like computer crazy. He built them. His brother had a computer building business. All this sort of shit. But anyway, when he died, he had a load of software left over. One of the things he had was a Windows 98 second edition disc, still sealed. And that was in, I oh know he died in 2001. And I kept it, and I kept it, and it's been under my bed in a drawer. Just sat there, doing nothing, for 18 years. At least, he must have had it since about 98, 99, so... Nearly 20 years that, that disc had been sat around doing nothing. I cracked that bitch open and used it to reinstall Windows because it had Windows 98 first edition. So, it's an example of hoarding gone right for once. Because I actually thought about it a couple of years ago. I remember I was going to throw it out and I thought, no, I'll keep this because you never know. And I didn't know. And I obviously knew better in the back of my mind. But, yeah, so that's the that's the the retro machine i'll give an update i'll actually do a video on it i'll take you know because it's still pretty much in pieces at the moment like the side panel the top panel and the other side panel isn't on um you know there's, there's a lot of the computer missing to the side of the computer at the moment but it's it you know you turn it on it'll, it'll work but the other computer i built um 
initially I built um, an LGA 775 computer with um, a GTX 650, uh, a Q9800 or something like that. One of the top of the line ones before you got to the core it's to its stream uh, processors. And it just didn't have the grunt for what I wanted. It didn't cost me a lot. Like the processor was like a tenner or something. The motherboard was uh, 25. I already had the RAM. You know, it wasn't expensive. I needed, I was going to build a new PC. It was only going to be a stopgap measure anyway. And I thought, well, you know, I'll run it for now. And if anything comes up, that's a good deal. And a lot better than what I do have currently. Oh, I'll, I'll go for it. So, just before Christmas, a 2500K, and it's an i5 2500K, um, a motherboard, and 8 gigs of RAM bundle come up. And the whole lot was, uh, what was it, it was 60 quid? Including posters and packaging, and all that sort of shit. So I, I chatted to the guy, and I got it. So, uh, and it arrived the other day, because Christmas, it made it a bit awkward. Sorry, I'm drinking this aloe vera drink with pulp in it. It's lush. Um, so, yeah. And it finally arrived the other day. And yesterday, it was yesterday it arrived, in fact. And I was, I was, I was putting it in my machine... And I have no end of problems, I'm telling you. No end of problems. I, I put the main board in. Put the processor in. Um, I used the stock cooler that he'd sent me. Initially. Uh, then I found that it was giving me temperatures of 90 degrees. Once I was able to boot the computer up. Because... First of all, it was giving me the siren of death when I put two sticks of RAM in. So I took one out and uh, put one in, seal siren of death, swap the sticks of RAM around. I managed to get it to boot um, without my GPU in. Put my GPU in, it wouldn't boot, took the GPU out. Tried my RAM in there that I had, that's slightly slower. That would, it would boot with both sticks in. So then I looked at both the new sticks of RAM, cleaned them with alcohol, you know, the, ca the contacts that go into the actual mainboard. Put the, RAM, the new RAM in, Boot it up, it worked, but then it closed down because the stock cooler the guy had sent me, I didn't realise he hadn't actually put any cooling stuff, uh, heat, pa you know, paste on the heat, pardon me, <coughs> he hadn't put any um, uh, cooling, thermal paste on there, so uh, yeah, it was going to burn. Uh, so I put some thermal paste on there and I thought, well, when I bought the, uh, the cooler for the other main board, they fucked up and sent me two, so I got the other one out and thought, fuck it, it's a bit more significant than the uh, stock cooler. So I put that on with the heaps, uh, with the paste, uh, booted up, booted up fine. It's like, right, I'll try my GPU now. Booted up fine, installed the drivers, la ya ya. Restarted it, got artifact in, really bad artifact in, was like, shit, 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 shit. Thought, oh well, I'll just reboot, uh, I'll reinstall the drivers, reboot it, and hopefully it will be fine. Rebooted it, the whole screen was basically purple, you could see the writing like the boot, on the boot up screen, but it was barely legible because it was all purple. Um, and then I lost signal and the graphics card died and would not come back. So the story of my second computer is uh, my my main PC for like gaming is I can't use it because I get the GPU I bought from Sex died. So <laughs> I went on to and this there's a there's a Facebook group I'm on uh, PC parts and something else in the UK PC parts and what have you in the UK I can't remember exactly what it's called and. Um, that's where I got the, the motherboard bundle. Uh, but basically, I went on there and this guy was selling. Now keep in mind, I had a GTX 650. So not a great card by any stretch of the imagination these days. He had um, a GTX 660, which was some SC overclocked mega edition. 
that is apparently faster than the 750 Ti. And I was like, and it was 40 quid, including postage and packing. And I'm like, hmm. Hmm. It's a free good card as well. So, you know, it's got a bit, a lot more memory. It's like triple the memory of my other card. Um, I want to get something decent, like a 1060. Um, or a 970. Something better than a 660. Well, we'll see how it goes. I mean, if the 660 works out to be pretty decent, then why would I need to replace it until I get my Ryzen build? But... The, the the point is, yeah, I've got the 660 coming, and hopefully, hopefully it will be here tomorrow, because he sent it this morning. On uh, first class signed delivery or something. So I'm hoping it will come tomorrow. If not, Saturday's not such a big deal, because I'm, I'm home Saturday. But yeah, so th those two things have been keeping me really busy, like trying to get... Uh, the performance out of the other motherboard before I got the 2500k. I couldn't overclock. Just could not overclock on the LG um, 775 board that I got. Um, when I bought it, they said that it was an overclocking board. When it got here, uh, the feature doesn't seem to be enabled. I can't find it anywhere in the BIOS. Normally, it's pretty fucking obvious. Um, if I could have overclocked that CPU, that might have helped matters. And I wouldn't have bought a second board, but a 2500K is obviously a pretty decent P uh, CPU even today for gaming. So all it's going to be used for is gaming, and 8 gigs of RAM is plenty for gaming. I'll still have to use my laptop at the moment for any, um, if I do do video editing or anything that's more intensive, I'll obviously have to do on here because this will be, this is just more powerful, like way more powerful. I mean, uh, a 6700 HQ versus a 2500K, I don't think there's a, it's much of a contest, to be honest. I mean, the 2500K in a shit CPU by it, you know, it's a good CPU, like I said. But when you're putting four cores and four threads against four cores and eight threads, it's not much of a comparison. Although, that board I have got for the 2500K will allow me to overclock. Won't allow me to overclock the RAM, or oh, I haven't found a way to do that properly yet but I can overclock the CPU and from what I'm gathering I've seen people running them at 4.5 gigahertz if I could get mine to 4.2 I would be happy with that really happy with 4.2 gigahertz that would be really quick really really fucking quick that would be an, more than enough for me I'd be really happy with that um, so th that's like two of the things that have been keeping, you know, well, three technically, because like my nephew's thing. And my nephew's thing wasn't so much the building, it was so much the, the getting the software together. Um, when it first arrived, it had two gigs of RAM, um, a, dual, a, a core to duo process. It was just a fucking mess. You know, it could barely run Windows 10. I think it had, no, it had Windows 7 and I upgraded it to 10 because it was just such a mess, the operating system, it just had to go. Um, but it had real problems running Windows 10 with the RAM that it had. Once I put 4 gigs of RAM in there, it and, and a quad-core processor, things looked so much better. Like, so much better. I think the dual-core it had in there only run at like 2.2 or 2... It might have run at 2.3, it could have been 2.1 or 2.2, I'm not entirely sure, but it was bad. Um, it wouldn't have done anything. It could barely... I was trying to update it, and it took forever just to open updates. Uh, and also, the the problem I had switching around the computers with the LGA 775 board is it struggled... It didn't really... Rec it didn't recognise the solid-state drive. Wouldn't have it. Would not fucking acknowledge its existence. It, well, it would... But it wouldn't let me use it as a boot drive. It was like, no, no, it's not a boot drive. It's not a boot drive. What the fuck are you trying to do? Um, and also, I, had a, I bought a Xeon. And it had a real issue with my Xeon. It was just every time I booted up, it was like, you've got to update the BIOS. Even though I had the latest BIOS on there, it was like, you've got to update the BIOS. Otherwise, you can't use this CPU properly. Which is why I bought the um, 
Q9500 or whatever the fuck it was I bought for it. It was it was a 90 something hundred because it's like 2.83 gigahertz or something. So I mean I'm going to sell it. Uh, I'm probably not going to I don't know if I'll sell my RAM with it. I might do. I might do. But yeah, I, I mean, I reckon I could get 50 quid for the board, the cooler, the... I'll chuck in the two sticks of RAM that don't match. And, um... Yeah, 40, 50 quid maybe. I don't care really, I just want it out of the house. It's, it's going to do me no good. Unless I can put it in, um... My nephew's, like, in a Dell Optiplex case or get him a new case and build him... I should stop now um, because I'm trying to. I'm thinking of ideas what to do instead of selling it like I should do. But yeah, so the, yeah, there's been there's been a fair bit going on. I mean, it's really time consuming trying to get a Windows 98 computer running because I had to buy an external floppy, a USB floppy disk drive, a USB DVD drive, and um, I've. It's just a case of sitting at this laptop, downloading software, putting it on the pen drive. Or burning it onto a DVD, or putting it onto a floppy disk, and then transferring it over to that computer. Which the transfer speeds are obviously uh, my USB port runs at 48 megabits per second. Yeah, 48 megabits per second. When you consider I'm using USB 3 on here, yeah, the speeds are a bit fucking faster. So yeah, that's my boring, I've been building PCs and hoarding more tech shit, but you know, that's what keeps keeps me going, keeps me uh, busy and shit. And my nephew loves his PC, he doesn't give a shit that it's some old office computer that's barely powerful enough to run the stuff that it should do. I will fucking find him a GT750, a low profile one. Uh, G a GT 730, sorry. That's all he needs. Something like a GT 630, 730. Perfect. He'll be fucking off. Um, fucking off his little rocker playing uh, Luigi's Mansion. He'll be happy as Larry. It plays ga it plays N64 games and he loves Toy Story 2, which is an N64 game. So, you know, it'll do for now. And it plays, um, surprisingly, it plays Minecraft at the highest de um, detail, I think. And uh, Roblox. So, yeah, he's pretty happy. <laughs> well, you know, I've done a good thing, I guess. But anyway, thank you very much, guys. Oh, before I go, next couple of videos, there's going to be one in, uh, in detail about gaming, and it's going to be something along the lines of, like, what's gone wrong in gaming and why is it such a fuck-up? Because it is a fuck-up at the moment, the whole gaming industry. Um, and obviously the the Quran series will be ongoing at some point when I get round to it. Just as I said, a lot going on. Anyway guys, thank you very much for your time. I hope Christmas and the New Year has treated you well. Take care and bye bye for now.